What's going on, boys and girls? It's me, it's me, it's BBD, and it's time for some Aggies to get whooped up here in Neyland. You know, they had their little game last week at home against uh, the Gumps and, and couldn't manage to get it done. They managed to, you know, to make it close, which was good for them. But in the end, they lost. And uh, that's, you know, sorry about your luck, Aggies. Now you got to come up here to our house. So yeah, is this a big game for Tennessee against Texas A&M? Of course it is. We all know it's a big game. But hey, look, before I get started, I've got to thank my sponsors, ETI, Everhart Transportation Incorporated, South State Contractors Incorporated, Josh Quillen and the guys, and of course, Celine Driver. Go subscribe to Celine Driver now. Thank you guys for supporting BBD TV for the time you have. I appreciate it very much. Hit the thumbs up, folks. That is the best thing you can do for this or any other channel on YouTube, according to YouTube, is hitting that thumbs up. Letting people know you're here. Letting people know you're watching it. This channel, what can I say about this channel? Those of you that are watching for the first time, here's some things you may not know about myself and this channel. I've been doing Tennessee videos on YouTube longer than any other Tennessee YouTube period. There's not one single person out there that does Tennessee videos that's been doing them as long as your boy has. So if you're just now finding me, I appreciate it. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Hope you'll come back. Uh, the difference between this channel and some other channels is, and this is this is not a knock on anybody else, okay? Get that, get that straight right out of the gate. I'm not knocking anybody else. But one of the things I don't do on this channel is I don't come on here and pull up articles from other websites and read them. I just don't. I never have. Probably never will. I say probably because you never know. There might be a time where I see an article that I really like and I might pull it up on screen and highlight it and read it to you. But for the most part, mostly what I do on here is come on here and talk about who's coming up, who just left, and what we've got left to do on our schedule for Tennessee and not talk trash. It's not a trash talking channel. So let's get that out of the way right now. Used to be a long time ago. I used to come on here and pretend to be a trash talker. For instance, Texas A&M, you all ain't got nothing for us. We're going to whoop your asses. You know, we're going to score 80 and you ain't going to score 20. We're just going to dominate you. And that's the kind of stuff I used to do. I try to be a little bit more factual based now than before. And, of course, my information comes from other places. It just does. Unless I'm drawing on my past games that I've been to, um, both in Neyland and on the road. I love them both. I love a good road game. But to me, there's nothing like going to watch Tennessee play football on the road, getting a win in their stadium, and shutting their people up. That is the greatest feeling in the world. Besides some other things that we won't talk about on this channel. You want to talk about that? Go to some other channels. That's where you get that kind of talk. Not over here. We're talking football. Uh, football. Need more tackling fuel. That's what Tennessee needs this weekend. More tackling fuel against A&M. Because it's going to be a challenge. But let's be real. This ain't going to be a walk in the park. And if it is. I will be just as shocked as any other Tennessee fan. And, of course, I'll come on here the next day and talk about it. But for now, let's look at the facts of this game. Both teams are playing with quarterbacks that this time last year, they were backups. Joe Milton was a backup last year to you-know-who, Double H. Uh, Max Johnson this year was a backup to Connor Wegman. Wegman got hurt. 
now Max Johnson's the man. And he's not playing bad. He's not horrible. Out of, out of the top 15 ranked SEC quarterbacks, you know, he's, he's at the lower end, but that doesn't make him a bad quarterback. Uh, Peyton, Peyton, what's his last, whatever his last name is, Auburn, that's a bad quarterback. His stats show that he's a bad quarterback. Um, but for, for our purposes in this game, both quarterbacks are middle of the road guys. Ain't no denying it. Ain't no sense arguing it, Tennessee fans. We all know at this point, we don't have a five star light up the scoreboard quarterback. We just don't. We've got a guy that can run this offense, can run it pretty efficient, pretty efficiently, and can get us some big wins. He proved it against Clemson. Take South Carolina last week, uh, last game. That was a big win. No, it wasn't our Super Bowl like Spencer Rattler said, but that was a big game for Tennessee because they hadn't been playing well. South Carolina was a formidable opponent that had just absolutely buried us the year before, and they were coming in here thinking they were going to be able to do the same thing, but it didn't happen. Texas A&M, loaded. These guys are loaded with talent everywhere. Look at how they did last year. What was it five and seven? I think right now they're off to a decent start, but losing to Alabama last week, I think it hurt the, it hurt their momentum. It definitely hurt their pride, and quite frankly, it probably hurt their chances of winning in Neyland. I don't know they had I don't know that they had much of a chance of winning up here at Neyland before that game, but now after that game, you know, the odds are in our favor. The Vegas odds are in our favor. Not by much, though. We're not a huge favorite in this game. Three and a half points, I think. So they're basically saying this is these two teams match up as a pick em, basically. They're giving us three, three and a half for being at home. Vegas knows best, right? Not all the time. We shall see. That's a fact. We will find out Saturday. We're just a few days away. Every day that goes by gets us one day closer to Tennessee football. And that's why we're all here at the end of the day, because we all love Tennessee football. If you're watching this channel and you're a Tennessee fan, you're here for the same reason I am, for the love of the balls and for the love for my end of this channel and the community I'm trying to build here. Been trying to build it for 14 years. What can I say? Some some families take longer to build than others. You know, that, that's all I can say about that. I do know one thing. Love you and I mean it. I've had some great support over the years. I've really had some great support here recently after coming through with all the health issues that I've had. But I'm back now and I'm and I'm looking for your support on here. I'm hoping you'll tell your friends. If you know somebody that used to watch me that kind of went away when the health hit, health issues hit, tell them to come back. Let's grow this channel again. All right? I think it's pretty fair to say. What do you think? Tennessee wins this weekend. This is going to sound like a blowout, but it's not. Tennessee wins 41 to 28. That's my prediction. Uh, in fact, I'm going to write it down because I have a terrible memory. 41, 28 balls. We will see. Love you, mean it. Hug your mom and daddy. Go balls. Screw y'all. It's football time in what? Four and a half, five days? That's right. We'll see you on the next one.